Welcome back to Fab Fun. My name is Logan, and today I'm going to be working on a box blade. I'm turning a rear blade into a box blade if I can come up with a plan. So tonight we plan. Stay tuned. What's the difference between my ducks and onions? I cry when I chop up onions. It is starting to rain, so I apologize for the noise. It does get pretty loud in here. Ducks apparently like the rain. Some of you might see this right here and wonder what that is. Um, it's actually a place for weights. I had some weights off of a weight machine. Uh, the plastic wrapped concrete weights, I guess is what they are. And they fit very nice over that piece of steel angle. So I could stack up about 200 pounds on here and have a little extra weight on the blade so it would dig into the gravel a little bit better and, and clean up uh, a driveway. I pulled it with the Agco, did use it to clean snow once or twice, back when I had that Agco ST35. But now I've got that, and I'm much happier with that. Oh, another thing I was going to talk about. For Christmas, Santa Claus brought me some felling wedges. Some Husqvarna brand and some off-brand just to have spares. You never know when you need one extra little wedge. Just to get the job done, well now I've got lots of options. I did just have two wedges before, and you know, sometimes that's not what you need. So that's cool, thanks Santa Claus. I'm gonna take this apart over here and uh, just get it down to the bare blade and possibly this reinforcement and find out what I need to do. I would like to take this from six feet come off the ends of it with a little bit of an angle and then add the ends to it to get right about seven feet uh, to cover the tire tracks on most of the normal uh, utility size tractors with the way we've got them set up between his case and my Massey I think is right at 83 inches. So if we can get this around 84, I think I'd be pretty happy with it.
I have two I-beams like this. They're about 10 inches tall, but they're pretty thin. I have some frame rails from a truck, much thicker material, only about nine and a quarter to nine and a half tall. The blade's about 14 inches tall, 72 inches wide. I did get everything off of it that I needed to off the back, but I did realize it is bowed a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. We've got to think of a way to reinforce this a little bit. Obviously, if that was meant for about a 30 to 35 horse tractor, pulling it behind a tractor that weighs three or four times as much with easily twice the power and four wheel drive is going to be it's going to be a lot different experience for it. So I've got to have something on the backside to reinforce that and keep it from bowing. I did want to make it wider. This is six foot again, 72 inches, but I want to have this about seven feet if I can make it. Six inches on either side. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, but the end pieces, uh, anything that size is usually about three eighths, five sixteenths or three eighths steel. I don't have anything quite that thick. And that frame rail from the truck just isn't quite tall enough. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use for the end pieces. I should have enough steel to finish out the rest of the frame. I've got some steel angle down here. I think that's three inch by four inch. Not sure. Haven't measured it lately. And I've got enough scrap pieces. I can probably put some other stuff together. But again, I've got to have end pieces. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but it's going to be kind of the fun is finding out what materials I have around here or can get my hands on really, really cheap to make this work. Guys, if you have any ideas, I'd appreciate it if you left it in the comment section below. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Hopefully we'll make some more progress on this.